So next exercise, uh, 9C1. So we are going to say triangle inequality property. Okay. So I wrote here the sum of the length of any two side of a triangle is greater than the length of the third side. Okay. Sum of the uh, sum of the length of any two side of a triangle is greater than the length of the third side. Okay. You should be sure. If it's like like if you take a triangle, maybe here is uh, 10. This is uh, 8 and 6. If you take this one, if you add two sides, should be greater than the third one. Okay, some of the two side is uh, some of the length of the any two side of triangle is greater than the third side. For example, you just take this eight and six. Eight plus six is how much? Eight plus six is fourteen. Fourteen is greater than ten, is it? And if you take this two, eight plus ten is eighteen. Is greater than six. The other one. Okay, they will take the other one. Again, here already the six is here. Six plus ten is greater than 8 is it 6 plus 10 is 16 is greater than 8 if it's greater than only this is a triangle otherwise you cannot draw the triangle here okay so like here you can just see the exercise uh, you first try this one okay first try this one after that you start the exercise 9c you can see 9c the first question uh, can triangles be constructed with the following measurements of sides Justify your answer. So already told you the same process. You can see the first question. So first question 1.5 centimeter, 2.5 centimeter, and 4 centimeter. So we'll just take it here. First two side you take 1.5 plus 2.5. 1.5 plus 2.5 is how much here? 4. Is it 2.5? 3.4. So it should be here is the other side is 4 is here. Is it greater or equal? It's equal. Okay. So, but it, it won't be like that because the sum of the length of any two set of triangles should be greater than the third one. But this is equal. So, answer we can say this is not possible. So, we can write answer no. Okay. No, we can't uh, make a triangle this one. And second one, see, second one, 3 centimeter, 3 centimeter, and 5 centimeter. Here we'll just take 3 plus 3, you take 3 plus 3 is 6, greater than 5, is it? And the next one you take 3 and 5 you take 3 plus 5 is 3 plus 5 is 8 8 is greater than surely 3 that one again what's missing again again one more same same only zero 5 and 3 you take 5 plus 3 or so 8 greater than 3 so all same only so we can say the length of the sum of the length of any two side of triangle is greater than the third side so surely we can say this is answer as it's possible understood Okay, the other two questions you just try question number three and four. Okay, and uh, I'll just go to question number two. Question number two is given here. You can see the question there. Uh, question number two D is any point on the side BC of triangle ABC is given fill the uh, blanks with uh, greater than less than or equal sign so if the first one is given uh, I'll just draw the diagram here ABC so first one AD AC plus DC and again AD AB plus BD Again, AD is half of AB plus BC plus C. Okay, so here we will know uh, AD is a, this small one, AC plus DC, AC plus DC. This is surely some of the any two side is greater than the third one, surely. Okay, so that we know, so surely we will know this one is bigger. Okay, some of the length of two side is greater than the third side so some of the two side is adding here is greater than the third one so that means you're writing less than this is greater one and next one ad and there are also same process we can do it this is a bigger one because ab plus bd if we add greater than the ad this is a triangle okay in this triangle and the next one ad is given a half ab plus bc plus a so if you add all the sides here and ad sure also will be you can say this is less than understood okay now we can go to question number three here Question number three, draw a triangle ABC, okay, uh, I'll just rough it and I'll do again here. Draw a triangle ABC, we'll just draw a triangle ABC. 
and uh, produce BA to X produce BA to X so you will bring it like this that is X okay and uh, such that AX and AC equal so AX and AC equal and join XC join this to XC okay and we have to show that BC is less than BX so BC is given already so again was given BX so from here bx you write it here bx how we can write from the diagram here bx means from here to here so we can say ba plus a is it ba plus ax is it it's ba plus ax oh so on already the question is was given here ax equal to ac given ax and ac equal okay so bx equal to ba will just keep the same thing ax equal to ac is given there so you can just say bx equal to ba plus ac okay bx equal to ba plus ac we got now so if you add these two is greater than the, this one is bigger so we can say bc is less than ba plus ac is it sum of the length of any two sides is greater than the third one so bc is less than ba plus ac this is just make it one so BC is less than one is a BA plus AC is what BX. So you write here BX by one. Understood? So AX equal to AC given in the question and BX equal to BX means BA plus AX. I'm writing here and instead of this AX, I wrote here AC. Okay. Now this is the first one and now we are taking here sum of the length of any two sides is greater than the third third one. In triangle, you can just triangle ABC okay so bc is less than ba plus ac bc less than bx okay and now come to the question number four uh, in equal triangle abc side is seven centimeters so equal triangle means all the sides are equal okay so if you take abc here seven centimeters seven centimeters seven centimeter okay and is it possible to construct an isosceles triangle DCB on the other side of BC? Okay, other side of BC. Is it possible? Can you draw an uh, isosceles triangle if the equal side is given 3.5 centimeter each? So, like uh, DB and DC. If I take suppose here is D, DB, DC, 3.5 centimeter one. This is 3.5, 3.5. If you take. Is it possible can you draw the triangle or not so we'll just see here if, suppose if you make it here so we are just making here okay suppose making like that this is we know 7 and this is 3.5 3.5 so we'll just add this to 3.5 plus 3.5 it's 3.5 plus 3.5 is 7 so the third side is 7 here if this is should be surely greater than but here is coming equal because 3.5 plus 3.5 is 7 so surely we can say answer no it's not possible to draw an isosceles triangle okay so it's not possible surely we'll know if you add this two sides should be greater than the third one okay and now come to the question number five the last question and question number five is given the length of two sides of triangle are five centimeter and uh, eight centimeter so between the two measures should the length of the third side fall so the third side should be which one okay so we'll just take it here question number five so here given five centimeter and uh, eight centimeter okay so the third side should fall in which side so we can just take it here uh, the side is given 5, 5 centimeter and 8 centimeter. You just add this to 5 plus 8 is 13. Okay, and just subtract 8 minus 5 is 3 centimeter. So, surely we'll know the third side will fall between. Okay, so we can say 3. La, okay, we can just try 3. The third side, uh, we can just try to write the third side will fall between 3 to 30. Okay, so we can say 3 less than the third side will be here. Okay, less than 13. So the third side surely will be between 3 and 30. Okay, 
so just write it here third side okay third side you can just write like this so this exercise over